Thursday, children. So, this week we've been talking about books that we really, really like to read. So, I have brought in a book that I think is really funny. And I hope that you like it too. It is called A Pig, A Fox, and Stinky Socks. So, who are the main characters in the story? Who are these people? Well, animals. Who are they? And what do you think the story is going to be about? Let's find out if you are correct. I'm sure that you will be, though. Because my students are so good at everything. Like, the best. The best first grade class ever. Ever, ever the best. Okay, so here we go. Part one. I am fox. I am pig. So who's the fox? Yeah, that's the fox. Not the, He's who? Yeah, he's the pig. I am little. I am big. I have some socks. I like to play. I think I will trick pig today. So who's doing the trickery here? Is it the pig or is it the fox? Yeah, it's the fox. What's he going to do with those socks? This pair of socks was on my feet. This pair of socks does not smell sweet. So what do you think they smell like? They're not sweet. It's the opposite of sweet. I have a pretty little box. I fill it with the stinky socks. Uh-oh. He's putting the socks in there. So what's it going to smell like if someone opens it? Yeah, it's probably going to stink. And hide inside this handy pail to watch Pig find his stinky mail. What kind of pail is he hiding in? Can anyone read what that says? Yeah, that's the laundry. So let's see what happens. A little box. What can this be? <laughs> He's over here laughing, hiding in the laundry. Oh, can it be a gift for me? It says to pig from fox. So is it a gift for the pig? I think it is. But we know what's inside. The pig does not. Let's see what happens. What is inside? I cannot tell. I lift the lid. What is that smell? Oh, peace you. Would well, you want to smell some stinky socks inside of a box? I wouldn't. The only thing inside this box is one old pair of stinky socks. And he does not look happy about it, does he? It's not a very good gift. These socks do not go in my mail. They go inside my laundry pail. But oh no, who's in the laundry pail? So these are going into the laundry pail. What's that mean for the fox? Let's see. Uh-oh. Now who would give, my, give me smelly socks? That really stinks. So now he's really upset. But where are the socks going? And so does Fox Laundry. What happened? Yeah, he has the socks on him. This is part two, so I think we're about to find out. If you see part two and you see this bowl, what do you think is going to happen in part two? Let's see if you can figure it out before we get there. He is Fox. He is Pig. He is little. He is big. So they're talking about each other now. They're not talking about themselves. They're saying, hey, Pig is big. His name is Pig. His name is Fox and he's little. Oh, I am such a sneaky fox. I have another pair of socks. What do you think he's going to do with these socks? Is he going to try to trick Pig again? Naughty fox. Another pair of socks that stink. Another funny trick, I think. I think he's going to try to play another prank. Let's see how this one goes. Hopefully this one goes a little bit better. I have Pig full. I have Pig slop. Socks on bottom, slop on top. So he put the socks in the bottom, and he's putting a slop on the top, which is his food. Let's see what happens. I put Pig's favorite spoon inside. Now I must find a place to hide. Where is he going to hide? You see anywhere for him to hide in this picture? Where do you think he's going to go? Yeah, maybe inside of that pan, that pail back there. What did that say on? Did, could you read it? Here comes Pig, I must be quick. This empty can should do the trick. So, what kind of can is this? Yeah, it's the garbage can. He's going to hide. I, a bowl of slop. Oh, what a treat. Hee <laughs> hee. He's laughing inside of the garbage can. Yum, yum. I cannot wait to eat. Uh-oh. What's on the spoon? Uh, is the pig going to eat it? Uh, what do you think? But wait. What is inside my slop? That sneaky fox. He has to stop the pig's getting a little upset. Would you get upset if somebody hid stinky socks in your food? 
That sneaky fox, he is so bad. That sneaky fox, he makes me mad. I think I'd be a little upset too. I'd be a little frustrated with the fox. Why does he keep hiding stinky socks? I would not ever want to eat the socks from Fox's stinky feet. Uh-oh. What's going to happen? What's he going to do with this bowl? Where's he going to put it? Probably inside the garbage can. My slop was ruined by those socks. That really stinks. So he put the garbage, put his stinky socks and the slop right on top of the fox. What do you think the fox is going to smell like now? Ugh. And so does Fox. Oh no, he smells so bad. It says part three. Looks like the fly's a little tired now. He smelled all kinds of stinky socks for days. I am Fox. He looks a little smelly. Look how much stuff he has on him. I am Pig. Looks like they don't want to be near each other. I am Little. I am Big. Look, he has the clothespin on his nose now. Why do you think he has a clothespin on his nose? Why do you think? Why would he want one instead of the fox? Yeah, he probably doesn't want to smell one. I had my fun. I had my laugh. Now I'll go and have a bath. So do you think he learned his lesson? Do you think he knows not to be doing that anymore? Hopefully. Sometimes if you play a trick, it can turn out bad for you. Bye, guys. Have a good day.